the devastating effects of El Nino, the lack of rain accompanied by heat waves. This is the worst drought to hit South Africa since 1982. Millions are facing water shortages. This is rather unusual because under normal circumstances, I would be waist height in water here. This reservoir has completely dried up and it just goes to show how severe the drought is. The country's farmers have been the hardest hit. Six of Tuso Galane's cows starved to death. Many more are missing. He fears the worst. He wanted to show us the dried up watering hole, only to find one of his calves trapped in the mud, close to death. There was no time to waste. More manpower was needed. And the BBC team had to put the camera down and assist with the rescue. Over this way. There we go. Come on, there you go. There you go. Come on. There you go. Yeah. This is heartbreaking. I am losing out more than I should be gaining. It's only a matter of time before those who work for me become unemployed. Without some intervention, the stark reality facing many farmers is that more livestock will keep dying. And just talking about the soil itself. Many commercial yeah, farmers have dry. criticized the government's slow response in helping out. Yeah. At this stage, there's no help because of this uh, uh, drought. We are still waiting to hear what are the programs that are going to be implemented for fighting this drought. We didn't even plant, so it's going to be going to affect our food security, it's going to affect the price, and the, the poorest of the poorest that we always talk about, they are the one who are going to be worse off. The prospects of rainfall look promising, but the ever-changing weather patterns brought by climate change could still affect the country's food security. Nomsa Masego, BBC News, Free State.